Hello and welcome back to Kickstart. In this video, we're gonna be going through some of the reports that we have in our foundation library, how to access them, as well as how to access our labels. As usual, I'm your host Ludwig from Arkerbaum and let's kickstart our reports. So here we are back in our processing center and we've just created some CNC files and now we need to get some reports to go with them. So first off, what we need to do is we need to go over to our general button up the top left over here and we have a little button called reports and within that, print reports. From there, it will give us a list of the reports that we have in our library. And there's a handful in here that I actually like to showcase to you. The first one is going to be our nesting optimization report. Give that a click and click on the OK below to open this report. Now from here, it's gonna show me how my nests are coming along. It's gonna tell me along the top left what work order folder that these cheat code files are saved to. It's gonna tell me what material this particular sheet is using as well as the sheet size. It's gonna tell me what the cheat code file is. So if I wanna cut this particular sheet, I need to find and load this file on my CNC machine. It's also gonna have numbers on our nesting sheet as these are gonna work in correlation with our labels so we know what labels are gonna go onto what parts. And then further below, we have our part list telling us the parts in their corresponding spots. Now, if I wanna save this as a PDF, all I need to do is go over to the save button up the top over here and I can save as a PDF or as an Excel spreadsheet or any other format that you see fit. If you would like to send this straight to the printer, we just need to go over to the print button over here. And from there, we can select the printer as well as printer preferences that we would like to use. So this is the nesting optimization report. This is just one of the reports I would like to show you. I'm gonna close that down. I'm gonna go over to the product detail report. I'm gonna use star one for this example over here. Go give that a click, give that an okay. And this is gonna be pretty much our cut list report. So it's going to show me, yep, these are the products that I am cutting, the width, height, and depth of the product, as well as what room that they are assigned to. It's also going to tell me up the top that this is the project that I am optimizing these products to. It's also going to give us a breakdown of the parts, the part length and width, what material they're using, as well as the edging, whether it's along the length of the part or the width of the part. It's also going to show any comments if I've added any comments to these particular parts. Gonna close that one down and we're gonna go over one more report quickly and that's going to be our work order summary. Now you'll need to first process and create G-code files in order to fully utilize this report. Because when I open this report, first thing it's gonna tell me is this is the project that I'm using and these are the products that I've assigned in this work order. Below that, because I created some CNC files, it's also gonna show me what sheets I'm gonna use and how many. It's also gonna tell me, yep, these are the sheet sizes that I need to use. It's gonna show any buyout material. In this case, I'm using a 40 mil bench top. So it's gonna tell me that I need about 1.6 square meters of bench top. It's also gonna give me the total amount of edging that I need in my parts, as well as what hardware and how many of those hardware I will need in these products. It's gonna give me everything from what adjustable legs I need to use, any draw systems, any door hinges, any screw holes, any knockdown fixings, locks, anything like that is gonna be viewed in this report. So I'm gonna close that one down and I'm gonna close my report up over here because I can also print out labels as well. First thing I need to do is I need to go over to this labels button over here. And the first thing I'm gonna do also within this is I'm gonna say, well, what labels I would like to use. If you go over to current part label, you can have a list of what labels you would like to use and select the one that you would like to use or view or print. I can also say if I'm using an automatic labeler on my CNC machine, what labels are gonna be sent to that machine as well to be printed on the CNC. Now, below that is my part labels, and this is the guy I'm gonna click on to actually view or print out my labels as well. So we go down to our part labels, we're gonna go over to microfilm list labels, and the first area I'm gonna to go to is going to be my print preview. Now, print preview is gonna show me every single label for every single part that I've processed to the machine. I'm just gonna go over to the top over here, and I'm just gonna click on this button, and I'm just gonna have this viewed as this, just so I can see multiple at once. My label is gonna give me the item number, the 
work order folder that I've created, the material and the part name. It's also gonna give me a sheet number and a part index. And the part index is pretty much that number that you saw on your nesting optimization report. So I can see this is the first sheet and this is gonna be part one on that sheet. This is going to be part two on that sheet, part three and so on. If I go further down, it's gonna start going on to sheet number two. So this is now the second sheet, the second G code file that I would need to use. And again, this is part one of that list. It's gonna give me a little label image as well to give me a better understanding of what part I'm putting this label on. Now this is every single label. I don't have to use this to print out my labels. If I close this down, and if I go back to my labels, back to part labels, mark on this labels, and this time we're gonna to go to show patterns. Give that a click. And now what's gonna happen is it's gonna show me how I've optimized my sheets. And from here, I can actually print out labels per sheet or per part, instead of having one giant roll to pick and choose from. So the first thing I need to go to is on my right hand side. And first I need to select, well, what material am I cutting first? So if I'm gonna be cutting my white null mine sheets first, I click on that. And in this list, it's gonna give me the sheets that I'm cutting out of my white null mine, as well as the G code file name. So this is my kick 1005 G code file. If I cut this in the CNC machine, these are the labels to go with it. Over here are the different parts that if I click on, highlight in green. I can also select the parts from this list over here if need be as well. Now, if I wanna print out the labels, or if I wanna see the labels for these parts or these sheets, I can go down to these buttons over here and I can either preview part or preview sheet or print part and print sheet. So if I wanna preview the label for this particular labor box draw bottom, I can go to preview part. And this is just the individual label for that part. I can close that down and I can preview the sheet. And this will show me the labels for this particular sheet. So once you've got a sheet that's come off the CNC machine, you can print these labels off. And while the next sheet's cutting, you can put these on. The next one comes off the machine, you print out those ones, stick them on, rinse and repeat. And if you print out a part or print out a sheet, it will also change the color of that sheet. It's gonna start printing. Let's see if we can hear my print in the background. I think I may have broken my printer. So as you can see, once it's printed out a label, it's going to change the color of that part. If I try to print out for the entire nest, if I go to print sheet, it's gonna change everything to red. And this is going to tell you that you've printed out the labels for this particular sheet. It also gives me a blue color, and that's just the part that I've selected here. And that is our reports and our labels. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Ludwig from Markovalm, and have a wonderful day, and take care of yourselves.